Moving in the local axis can be really helpful. You press shift, tap twice and you are in the local axis. But what will happen if you were to apply the transform? Then the local axis is gone and if you were to symmetrize this and you wanted to move into local axis of this object, you can't. And that is when the 3D cursor comes into hand. So shift right click we place the 3D cursor. If we now change this to use the cursor as a transfer orientation, you will see that this is not what we want. And the problem is that the orientation of the 3D cursor depends on the view. We can change this, luckily. We can press T, go to the active tool of the cursor, and we will change the orientation to geometry. All right, now with left click, the 3D cursor will take the orientation of the normal. Now, if we go to the top view, we can see that this line is parallel to the normal of the face that we chose, right? So that is really nice, but the thing is that this orientation is not synchronized with the orientation when you place the cursor with the shortcut, which is shift right click. If you shift right click, you will still be placing the shortcut with the orientation as view. We can also change this going to edit preferences, key map, and we are going to search here for for place cursor, sorry, let's start for cursor. All right, and here in the 3D view, we will change the orientation to geometry. And we will say the preferences here, All right? And now it is working as we want, All right? So this way we can easily move in a local axis with the 3D cursor, which is really useful, right? So in that sense, it is really sad that the shortcut doesn't synchronize with the orientation that we set here, but maybe that is something that will change in the future. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, some suggestions, some ideas, a better way to do this. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.